In the muted glow of dawn, a soldier stands poised at the brink of a mission that will define his legacy. David was a child of many homes, molded by the United States foster system. His path led him from the Green Berets to the sands of Western Iraq during the Gulf War, where he became more than just a soldier. Joining Big Boss's elite foxhound unit, he was reborn as Solid Snake. Trained in the arts of survival, linguistics, and combat by Big Boss himself, Snake's skills were honed to near perfection. Yet his real name and origins remained shrouded under national security. As a rookie in Foxhound, Snake's first real mission would be a task that will test every skill imparted upon him. Under the watchful eye of Big Boss, laden with immense expectations, this mission is poised to unleash a series of events that will irrevocably shape the young rookie's destiny for years to come. Big Boss stood across from Snake, his expression a mix of sternness and subtle pride, or loathing. It would always be hard to tell with the man. Gray Fox is MIA, Snake. We need you to finish what he started. Operation Intrude, N313. It's now in your hands. I understand, sir. This was Gray Fox's last known infiltration route. This is more than a rescue mission. We lost contact with Fox after he discovered something unsettling. Unsettling? Fox's last transmission mentioned a new weapon in Outer Heaven, codenamed Metal Gear TX-55. Metal Gear, do we know the extent of what it can do? Not enough, but it could possibly be nuclear equipped. If true, it could shift the balance of power. Okay, so what's my primary objective? First, gather intelligence on Metal Gear. If possible, find and rescue Gray Fox. He holds key information. Yes, sir. If he's alive, I'll find him and bring him home. And if I encounter this Metal Gear? Assess the situation. Engage only if you're certain you can handle it. Remember, discretion is as vital as strength. Stealth over brute force, understood. We've provided you with contact details of Resistance members based in the region occupied by Outer Heaven. They each have unique knowledge regarding the base and its inhabitants. Contact them if you need support regarding the mission. Trust your instincts, Snake. You're still a rookie, but one of our best to come out of the Academy in years. What you face in Outer Heaven is unlike any battle you've known. Be prepared for anything. I won't fail, sir. Remember, this mission is off the records. Deniability is key. Keep communication to a minimum, and good luck. Thank you, sir. I'll begin immediately. Dismissed. Solid Snake, a name that would soon echo through the annals of history, stood at the threshold of a journey that would unravel secrets, confront betrayal, and challenge the very nature of his existence. In the deceptive calm of the waters surrounding Outer Heaven, Snake begins his solitary descent into the unknown, guided not only by his training, but by the critical intel from an unlikely ally, resistance leader, Kyle Schneider. A victim of the very fortress he helped design, Kyle Schneider was once an architect who was forced to be part of Outer Heaven's design staff, but joined an underground movement when his wife and child lost their lives as innocent victims of the conflict. Schneider now channels his intimate knowledge of the base and personal loss into aiding Snake's mission. Snake emerged from the water, beneath a dock a hidden part of the fortress. He surveyed the area, cautious and alert. The immense size of Outer Heaven was daunting to Snake as it would be for anyone faced with the isolation and the scale of his mission. He took a moment to orient himself, then deactivated his underwater gear stowing it away. He pulled out his eye droid, checked his bearings, then activated his codec. This is Snake. Schneider, I'm in position. Good. Remember, the central control area is two floors down. 
Watch for patrols on the Eastern Corridor. Got any updates on the internal defenses? Security's tightened. They've added more surveillance cameras since my last intel. Stick to the shadows. And Snake, be careful. Thanks, Schneider. Your intel is appreciated. Guided by Schneider's knowledge, Snake becomes a shadow within the fortress, each movement a step closer to the heart of outer heaven. Moving stealthily through dimly lit corridors of the base, he pauses, surveying a junction teeming with guards. Snake knew if Grey Fox was alive, he'd be held in the fortress's prison, and the fastest way there was to get captured. Psst, over here. Huh? What was that noise? Don't move! Put your hands on your head! Now! Hey, relax. I surrender. Don't try anything funny, or I'll shoot. The guards, triumphant, escort a seemingly defeated snake through the fortress, their faces showing a mix of surprise and pride at the capture of the intruder. Thought you could sneak in, huh? Wait till the boss hears about this. Snake remained silent, his face stoic as he observed his surroundings, memorizing the layout. A calculated move, a deliberate plunge into the lion's den. Stripped of his weapons and equipment, Snake was roughly thrown into a cell, its walls echoing with the hushed confessions of those who came before him. Captured, but precisely where he needed to be, he focused on the immediate goal of locating Grey Fox and uncovering the truth about Metal Gear. Snake immediately inspected his cell, looking for weaknesses. He noticed a weakened section of the wall after knocking and heard a faint voice from the next cell over. After chipping a small hole into the wall using contraband he had smuggled in during his capture, Snake peered through. Does anybody hear me? Snake, is that you? Gray Fox. Yes, it's Snake. I'm here to get you out. We received your message about Metal Gear. Snake, listen closely. Metal Gear, it's not just any weapon. It's a walking battle tank, capable of launching a nuclear missile from any terrain, anywhere in the world. This is an emergency. This could spell catastrophe for us all. That changes everything. We can't let it be deployed. But don't worry. I've dealt with tanks before. Fox, I'll find it. It's more than that, Snake. Metal Gear redefines warfare. It's the ultimate deterrent. Undetectable. Unstoppable. And it's here in outer heaven. I've seen it. It must be destroyed. I'll stop it, but first, I'll get you out of here. Focus on stopping Metal Gear. My rescue, it's secondary. The world, it can't face this threat. Fine, but I won't leave you here, Fox. After Metal Gear is neutralized, I'm coming back for you. In the dank confines of his cell, Snake's mission became clearer and more daunting. Metal Gear had to be destroyed and Grey Fox rescued. The stakes were higher than ever. Snake, Metal Gear. If it becomes operational, nothing can stop it. Then we stop it before it starts. But how? Before I was caught, I had managed to procure the files on the weapon. You need to find Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar. He's the creator of Metal Gear. They forced him to design it. He's being held hostage somewhere on this base. He's the key. He'll be the only one who knows how to dismantle it. Okay, I'll find him. Just be careful, Snake. Outer Heaven is a fortress of traps and elite mercenaries. After abandoning their own countries, they have committed themselves to this place. This is their home. They'll fight to the death to defend it. Trust no one. With a new objective in mind, Snake's determination only grew. The confines of the cell felt tighter, the air heavier with the weight of the mission. Outer Heaven was more than a fortress. It was a ticking time bomb with Metal Gear as its catastrophic heart.